Good morning, it's 8 o'clock. I've showered and washed my hair. Usually I go straight into diffusing, but I just want to eat something first because I'm hungry this morning. Drinking this Genora mango collagen drink. This has become my new routine. I was like, I'm going to drink collagen drinks every day. So I just have this in the morning. This is what I eat for breakfast most days. It's raspberries, muesli. I think it's called strawberry muesli. It's got bits of dried strawberry in it and then Greek yogurt. I've been trying to get up earlier so I can be more productive earlier and kind of finish work when Fabian gets home because he gets home and then he goes to the gym and usually I want to go with him but a lot of the time I'm still doing videos or whatever. But I thought I'd vlog because I'm doing some exciting things this weekend and then I've been trying to book a hair cut appointment for Monday but she's not answering her phone. So I'm going to try to call her again today and if she doesn't answer I'm going to walk in and say that I have the wrong number or something maybe she changed her number but yeah she doesn't want to be on social media or be videoed so if i could video my haircut i would but we will see i just really need to trim because the ends are super dry and dead i've even noticed like the ends get lighter the more they get more dead and fuzzy they get lighter and i can see it in photos we're doing go-karting tomorrow and then we're going to a cat cafe cafe on sunday but today i'm just going to do i think a video for youtube and also some sponsored content I need to do. Um, but after I eat this, I'm just going to answer some of your comments because I just posted a reel. But yeah, catch you soon. So before I do my content and do my makeup, I've run out of the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is an essential for my makeup. Right now, I just I can't do makeup without it. So I have to run to Mecca and get some and then I also just packed some parcels that I need to ship but I'm just wearing jeans from Glassons these like mid-rise ones they are my go-to I wear them so much they've like faded I've noticed just from how much I've worn them I don't wash them they've just faded from so much wear and then just a t-shirt from with jean normally when I go to the shops my outfits are not stylish at all they're very basic it's just whatever's comfy and yeah I'm just gonna wear sneakers Probably, which sneakers, like this is more stylish than what I usually go for. Sometimes I'll just go out in active wear or track suits. I'm going to wear these because it matches the red. But yes, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back from the shops. I'm going to show you what I got. And I have some parcels to unbox as well. This was at my door when I got back. It says cookies on it. It's from Neon. Oh my god, it smells so good. Happy Valentine's Day. Wishing you all the love and happiness on a special day. We hope you enjoy these lovely tasty treats from Sweet Splits. Oh. Look how thick, and they look so moist. Oh my God, it just broke in my hand. Best cookie I've ever tried. I love white chocolate cookies. That's the one I just tried. Before I eat the freaking whole box, I'm gonna take a photo for my stories. <laughs> Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation and a sponge. I actually needed a new sponge. This says it's from Mecca. I'm so excited to try the Sunday Riley skincare stuff. I've seen a few influencers talk about it and yeah, I wanted to try it. We've got a eye contour depuffing cream. I need that for those early morning shoots. We've got a Verso Daily Glow um, Retinol Vitamin C Moisturizer. We've got a sleeping night oil, uh, a cleansing balm from Sunday Riley, and a all-in-one lactic acid treatment. And the thing that I went out to get to like use right now is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and they sent me some so I didn't actually have to go get some. Anyway, it's good to have two so that I don't run out like I did today. And what I got from the shops, I thought it was time for a new eyeshadow palette but I couldn't find this one that I wanted to get. <laughs> it's so dirty and gross. The Rev I Heart Revolution Nudes palette, they didn't have it, but I found a similar one with similar colours from Australis. Um, and then I also got a and then I also got a Australis Fresh and Flawless pressed powder in a medium tan. That's just to have an extra face powder because I mainly use my Maybelline Fit Me one, which is running out. But I got a restock of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have the luminous version, which is really nice on the skin, but I just want to have a matte one as well, just 
it depends on what makeup look I'm going for for the day. And then I've seen people try this on TikTok, the Kills Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I really didn't need to get any more skincare, I know, or masks, but this one has really good reviews and I really wanted to try it. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup and I will catch you guys soon. Now I am filming a separate YouTube video. It will be a clothing haul on its own. Um, trying out naked clothing, it's N-A-K-D and I just discovered them recently online and I just fell in love with all their stuff so I was like I'll do a big order and test out their brand um but yeah I'm, I'll most likely be returning stuff but I'm gonna be trying everything on in that separate video so I just finished that clothing haul video I'm going to make some lunch because it's 1 30 and I'm pretty hungry um I'm just gonna heat up some soup doesn't sound very um, appetizing but it is cold and raining so or not cold but it's raining and miserable so it is kind of soup weather I have this chicken and corn soup I'm really not good at organizing lunch like yeah, it's pretty bad I need to do meal prep or I just eat really random stuff that is not very nutritious but I get really lazy with meal, meal prep got this cute set on from Jean the label they have the nicest activewear um, she kindly sent this to me and then also a black set as well. I love the ribbed material and yeah, it's just really flattering. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat my soup and then clean up a bit. The kitchen's really smelly and gross. So I'm going to clean that up and also clean up the living room a bit. Fiona's sleepy. Whenever it's raining a lot, she gets really sleepy because she's scared of the rain. So sleepy girl. to the cat cafe um, just very comfy it's a bit it's not hot or cold so I was like t-shirt and skirt I'm feeling really run down today and if it was anything else I would cancel it but I want to see the kitties <laughs> I've just slicked my hair back because it was raining yesterday and it got so frizzy when I was outside and we went go-karting I had a little accident and got whiplash and my neck I've never had this sore of a neck like it's just very stiff I thought I was a speed demon and I could go around the corner without breaking and I just went like really fast straight into the water like bang so I've just gotta take it easy ignore the washing there <laughs> this skirt is from P Princess Polly it's a bit old um, but I don't think I've actually worn it out but I really like it so and I thought it suited the cat theme for today it's a bit of a tiger print and then I wanted to wear platform like slides but I was just like everything my body just hurts right now so I'm just gonna wear comfy slides these are Tony Bianco and I wear them to death I want to get I want to get them in the other colors I'm gonna make some breakfast it's nearly 10 o'clock and our cat cafe appointment is at 11 but yeah I'll show you the cute kitties when we get there guys I'm so dead don't be surprised if we got another cat today. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is our Valentine's Day celebration because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, but Fabian's at work. Yeah, just easier to do, do something today. And then we've got Fabian's brother's birthday, so we have to go home and wrap his presents and do a card. Mm-hmm. And then we've got I've family got, dinner. This is a heat pack, by the way. It's not a scarf. Fancy looking scarf. <laughs> Let's go see some cats. We're a bit early, so we're just sitting out the front. Yep. Let's go. Cuddly. You're so cuddly. Yeah, that color is beautiful. It's like Walter. White socks. you can tell it's I'm um, happy that it's not too different like the shape is pretty similar it just feels a lot healthier 
And yeah, the ends just feel healthier, they're not as frizzy. I wish I could film my haircuts just to show you all because it's probably the most popular question I get asked. But my hairdresser Amy is not comfortable with being like on the, inter on the internet and on camera. So I just want to respect her wishes and she also kind of explained to me that if I start promoting her, she's just a one woman show, she doesn't have any staff. Um, lots of people will come to her expecting her to make their hair look like mine when she was like I just trim and shape and you do the styling like you make the curls That's what she said to me. So I hope that makes sense to you guys So yeah, I just go to my local family hairdresser who is a one-woman show and I just tell her what I want and I just trust her She's the only hairdresser I trust um, I'm sure there will be a day where I have to go find a new hairdresser and and that's gonna be a worry. Yeah, it looks nice and healthy now. It's just nice and fresh. I found when I was brushing it in the shower, there was less breakage and hair coming out because it was just all cut fresh. I also asked her to shorten these layers at the top just a bit. But yeah, they kind of seem the same. Oh, they're a bit shorter. But yeah, if you guys want a similar haircut to mine, just show your hairdresser photos of me and ask for a round shape with lots of layers to give you more shape and volume. Anyway, I just shot some digis, which is like model portfolio photos that my agent sends to brands, um, no makeup, just very plain photos, um, just for brands to see my look. So I just shot those and I had to shoot some like walking ones as well. I would love to be on a catwalk, that's something I'm gonna try manifest. I think it will just feel so empowering. Very scary but empowering to walk on a catwalk and not being like a super tall stick thin model on the runway would be empowering as well. So we'll see if it can happen. I'll finish the vlog here. Thanks so much for tuning in. As I always say, let me know what you want to see next from me on this channel. I'm going to try upload videos once a week. I'm going to try. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Lots of love.